Hi Suburbanites here with another review, this time on the Tekka's album Tech um, and just make sure you stay until the end of the video um, to know the final rating I gave to this thing. Um, so let's get straight to it. The Tekka was born in 2002 in Queens, New York. He's an American rapper, singer and songwriter uh, known for his melodic flow and relatable lyrics. Tekka rose to prominence in 2019 with his breakout single Ransom, which quickly went viral, uh, reaching the top 5 of the Billboard Hot 100 and amassing hundreds of millions of streams worldwide. Um, the song showcased his knack for blending, blending smooth melodies with introspective lyrics, resonating with a global audience. Um, his debut mixtape, We Love You Tekka, further solidified his presence in the rap scene, receiving critical and commercial success. Okay, so having introduced the artist, let's go straight to the album. Today I'm going to be reviewing uh, Lil Tekka's third studio album, which was released the 22nd September 2023. This album is 38 minutes long and it features Kodak Black and Ken Carson. First off, the album kicks off with the track Evus. Um, honestly, for an intro, this one slaps. Um, it's catchy and Tekka goes straight to the point. Um, no beating around the bush with a long build-up or, or anything. He just jumps right into it and it sets a strong tone right from the start. Um, definitely a, a good way to open things up on this thing. Now, the second song, Heaven on Earth, is the, the feature with Kodak Black. And this one, I really vibe. I really vibe with it. Um, the flows are tight and the beat is on point. What really impressed me was how Kodak's style blends in so well with Tekka's. Um, they both have very different rap styles, but they found a balance that works, and it shows. Um, definitely one of the album's highlights. Um, then, after Heaven on Earth, we ha we we've got Gist. Uh, honestly, it's kind of predictable, like you can see exactly where, where the song is going from the start, um, but it's still a, a fine track. Um, nothing to write home about, but it gets the job done, you know? Um, Alright, next up is 500 pounds, and listen, this one is a straight up banger. Um, personally, I, I like it even more than Heaven on Earth. Um, the lyrics hit harder, and the flow and beats are just fire. Um, this is one of those tracks that will get stuck in your head. Now, here comes the second feature and last of the album, which is the Ken Carson one, um, and in the song Fell in Love. I gotta be real, it felt like Tekka was stepping a bit outside his usual comfort zone in here. It's different, it's different from what we usually expect from him, but I'm not mad at that. I mean, um, it's a good song overall for me. Although the Ken Carson feature is kind of me mediocre, to be honest. Um, but you know what? It's actually refreshing to hear Taika try something a bit different, even if it didn't totally land for me. And then we get into Tech and Salty. Here's the thing. They're not bad songs, but there's nothing new here. Um, the sound is like typical Taika, like songs you've heard a million times before. But again, it's not bad, um, but definitely definitely not pushing any boundaries or, or limits outside of Lil Tekka's um, comfort zone. The song Real Discussions is next. It's better than average, but still pretty standard. It's solid, but nothing groundbreaking. Uh, and then you get to Dead or Alive and Want It Bad, which stay in the same lane as most of the, as most of the album. Um, catchy, likeable, but not really breaking new ground. Uh, but still, I mean, they're fun to listen to. Now, I thought by the time we got to the last part of the album, things would start to drag a bit. Like, I expected it to get repetitive and maybe even tiring, um, because there's not a ton of diversity in sound here. But honestly, it wasn't too heavy. Um, even though the styles are similar across a lot of the tracks, um, those small little variations in the production and flow kept things interesting enough for me. It's light, easy to listen to, and it doesn't feel like a, 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 a chore to get through. Um, and finally, we've got the last two tracks, Need Me and Monday to Sunday. Uh, man, I really like this. Um, it's, it's actually a, a, a good wrap-up of the album in a strong way, um, which is actually not always the case, 
but here Tekka um, needed it and actually nailed it. Um, so overall, tech is pretty predictable, like the flows don't change up too much and the sound is kind of the same throughout. Uh, but you know what? That's part of the appeal uh, with Tekka style. It's laid back, it's enjoyable and even though it's not the most diverse album out here, um, it doesn't get too tiring. Um, there's a good balance of quality and those few bangers um, in the mix keep you engaged. And yeah, let's get straight to the marks. So let's start with the performance. Um, it's a solid Tekka performance. He doesn't miss much. Um, he's consistent all the way through and you can tell he's in, this, in his zone. The thing is though, um, that zone is kind of small. Like he stays in his comfort zone the entire time. There's not much risk taking, no stepping outside the box and that makes the album feel a bit safe and predictable. So while the performance isn't bad, it's also not super creative or exciting and that's why I'm giving it a 65, good but not mind-blowing. Now for the lyrics, I'm giving it a 60, the lyrics on tech are pretty decent, um, they fit really well with the beats and flows and they definitely sound good on the tracks. But when you break them down, they're not super deep or, th or thought-provoking. Um, there's a bit of repetition here and there. And while that doesn't ruin the, the entire album, it does keep it from standing out in a big way. So yeah, it's a passable 60 for the three weeks. So when it comes to features, uh, I've got to be real here. This is where the album falls short. I'm giving it a 40. Kodak's Black feature on Heaven and Earth was solid. It added a, a nice dynamic to the track. But then there's Ken Carson on Fell in Love and that one, it was just fine. I mean, it didn't add much to the song. It didn't bring anything new to the table. Maybe um, it forced Tekka to get a bit out of his comfort zone. But I mean, um, overall, I feel like this album could have used more features to switch up the vibe and bring some fresh perspective to everything. Um, more collaborations might have made the album um, feel more dynamic, definitely. Then the production gets a 65. It's clean, it's polished, Lil Tega clearly has his formulas down and it works for him. I mean, the beats and flows are well executed, but like I said earlier, it feels a bit repetitive. It's like he found his signature sound and just stuck with it. Um, that's fine, but after a while it can start to feel a a little stale maybe. Um, some more var variety in the production would have bumped this score up, but as it is, it's a solid 65, as I said earlier. Replayability is sitting at a 60. The thing about tech is that it's enjoyable and it's not too heavy, so you can throw, in, you can throw it on and vibe to it without overthinking it. And there are definitely a couple of bangers on here that you'll want to come back to. But because the overall style and sound are so similar across the album, there's not a ton of diversity that keeps you wanting to hit replay over and over again. Um, it's cool, but after a few listens, it might not keep you hooked for too long. Um, so with all that said, I'm giving Tech an overall score of 58. It's a fine album. It's not too crazy or experimental, but it's also not terrible. Lil Tekka stays in his lane, and while that lane wor works for him, it's also limiting. Um, if he could step outside of his comfort zone and experiment a bit more, um, I think we could see him grow into a much more versatile and complete artist. Right now, he's got some bangers and he's predictable, but sometimes predictable isn't always a bad thing. Um, and that's the breakdown. Uh, thanks for tuning in and let me know what you thought of tech.